It is the 30th of the 1st, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. We're going to go ahead and get started on SOP.net tonight. They have a SOP focus, new SOP report, strange noises in the sky, trumpets from the apocalypse. I wasn't aware uh, SOP.net had a YouTube channel, and uh, they have a video attached. Of course, I highly recommend you subscribe to these guys. Uh, these I use them every day. Thank you very much for what you do. Uh, you make my job a lot easier. The 6.2 earthquake that was off the Pacific Rim just north of uh, New Zealand has been downgraded to a 5.7. Um, you know, just a seismically inactive or uh, active area for sure. Australia shark attacks. Three swimmers attacked in unusual first three weeks of 2012. And U.S. dolphin and seal deaths plague New, e New England. Whether they got lost, sick, or swam astray chasing food, 77 dolphins that beached on Cape Cod in recent weeks have died. For the second time in three months, New England has been has seen a mass of marine mammal deaths. And now scientists are trying to figure out why. Snowstorm paralyzes the Balkans. Well, the Balkan Peninsula is drowning in snow following a cold spell and, se and severe snowstorms of the past 24 hours. Power lines have been buried under snow and traffic has been disrupted in some areas. Uh, a number of flights have been canceled. I saw reports where Serbia has declared state of emergencies in like 13 other provinces due to this heavy snow and that kind of thing. A good story here, forget global warming, it's cycle 25 we need to worry about. Uh, the supposed consensus on man-made global warming is facing an inconvenient challenge after the release of new temperature data showing that the planet has not warmed for the past 15 years. The figure suggests that we could even be heading for a mini ice age to rival the 70 year temperature drop that saw frost fairs held in Thames on the 17th century. That's where they were ice skating on the River Thames in uh, London. Based on readings from more than 30,000 measurement stations, the data was issued last week without fanfare, mind you, by the Met Office at the University of East uh, Angla. Climatic Research Unit, it confirms that rising trend in world's temperatures ended in 1997. Meanwhile, leading climate scientists yesterday told the Mail on Sunday that after emitting unusually high levels of energy throughout the 20th century, the sun is now heading towards a grand minimum. Uh, in, its out, in its output, threatening cold summers, bitter winters, and shortening the season available for growing food. Solar output goes through 11-year cycles, we all know this of course, with high numbers of sunspots seen at their peak. We are now at what should be the peak of what scientists called Cycle 24, which is why last year's solar storm resulted in sightings of the Aurora Borealis further south than usual, uh, but sunspot numbers are running at less than half of those seen during cycle peaks in the 20th century. Uh, an analysis by experts at NASA and the University of Arizona derived from magnetic field measurements 120,000 miles beneath the sun's surface suggests that cycle 25, whose peak is due in 2022, will be a great deal weaker still. And that's about all new they have going on tonight. What man is doing to destroy this planet uh, I have a story on the extinction protocol. Environmental watch. Microplastic fibers from washing clothes showing up in the marine environment. Microscopic plastic debris from washing clothes accumulated in, in the marine environment and could be entering the food chain, a study has warned. Researchers trace the microplastics back to the synthetic clothes, which release up to 19,000 tiny fibers per garment every time they're washed. Now you can imagine the math. How many um, plastic clothes are we wearing? And uh, how often do you do laundry? Each garment, each time you do laundry, into the water supply, out to the oceans, and uh, these big plastic balls of 
toxic pollution that is our oceans, uh, yes, yes, man, it's definitely polluting the planet, but CO2 is not causing climate change, in my honest opinion. Uh, and that's about all new I want to cover. They got a couple take your vaccine stories. Over to the watchers. <clears throat> Lowest temperatures in years for Fairbanks, Alaska. Residents of Fairbanks, Alaska were enduring the harshest cold spell in more than a decade. 51 below zero was registered yesterday at Fairbanks International Airport. Temperatures typically only drop to 16 below zero this time of year. Record low for Fairbanks is 60 below zero from 1933. That record would likely have been broken if dense fog was not present, according to AccuWeather. This marked the second consecutive day of temperatures two or under 50 degrees below zero. And you got to remember Alaska's had record snowfall, just mountains of snow falling on these people. And no mention whatsoever uh, about how this could affect with Fukushima. Uh, yay, progress! 46 cargo ships have docked to the International Space Station. Yay! The Great Central U.S. Shakeout Drill is scheduled for February 7th. Again, they are calling for volunteers. If you're in this area, I highly recommend you go volunteer. Bring your video camera. I would love to see the videos. Uh, the Great Central U.S. Shakeout will take place Tuesday, February 7th at 10.15 a.m. So far, more than 1.7 million participants from the region have agreed to take part in the drill in some form. This this time of year marks the 200th anniversary of the New Madrid earthquakes that occurred between December 1811 and February 1812. Uh, the epicenters of those quakes were in southwestern Missouri and northeastern Arkansas. And um, again, they attach the website on how you can participate too. Again, I encourage YouTubers to go out there with your video cameras and participate. We would definitely like to see what's really going on with this. Warning, ATCA is worse than SOPA. Here's what you need to know. And basically, uh, they're going into copyright stuff and that Obama's already signed this bill and it's left wide open for their interpretation. And uh, the insanity continues, continues. Well, that's about all I have climate change tonight. Over to the nuclear stuff, uh, e, e News. Impossible, question mark? Worst case scenario prompted government to send reinforcements to Fukushima plant. We could not even announce the fact that we complied such a simulation. Top official reports and the lies just keep getting broken and brought to the surface in what is Fukushima, Japan. Uh, we are all in a lot of trouble. TEPCO, radioactivity can, radioactive contaminated water came from ruptured frozen pipes only cesium was removed and you remember they're 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 um, taking the radiation out of um, the water um, that is Fukushima and uh, they're just removing the cesium and declaring it safe and uh, here's another story to compile with that sources reveal about a thousand kinds of radioactive materials released from Fukushima reactor and you remember yesterday they put out a report where the salt water has produced brand new compounds they never even thought it would happen, um, just compiling these three major nuclear meltdowns. Uh, they've got a CBS uh, four-hour radio report on um, Three Mile Island. Uh, reports enormous increase in cancer deaths, infant mortality rates doubled, birds disappeared, many mutations were observed. And this was years and years ago. This is back when Three Mile Island did its thing. And uh, frozen water ruptures pipes at Fukushima plant. Cooling system stops at spent fuel pool number four. They said it shut down for like an hour and a half. Um, but the temperature of the tank didn't vary very much. Uh, not enough to be announced or whatever. It is eight degrees below. Uh, negative eight Celsius in Fukushima. Uh, at the time, and that might have helped to keep the tank cool for sure. Uh, but number four is, was low and leaking anyway, uh, due to reports. So, who knows what's really going on? Uh, government check compromise chromosome. Uh, government to check chromosomes of Fukushima wildlife, plant and animal appearance, reproductive function. 
Uh, and um, that's about all new they have tonight. Again, if I missed anything, please let me know. Uh, attach your comments or your videos below. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Stay safe. Thanks.